Welcome back. Um, this is our next video in our series. We're going to do some 3D AutoCAD and we're going to draw a bushing today. Now, our bushing is part of our wheel project. Um, if you have the printout, it looks like this. Um, this is the tutorial for SolidWorks that we got courtesy of Gary Roberts at Wasatch High School. Um, this is the bushing we're actually creating and while we're not doing it in Inventor or, or SolidWorks, we still have to hold to the same dimensions. Now, um, I've got a print out of this right here, and that's what I suggest most kids do is they, or if you're doing this to learn it, is get the print out and work from that or use a PDF file similar to this one. Now, um, I'm going to go back to my AutoCAD here, and I'm going to start by drawing my profile of my shape. Now, what I do know is this the whole bushing is 0.75 inches long. Okay? And I'm looking at that, and I can look at, and I can say, okay, its whole width is from one side of it to the other, all the way across that thing, is 1.375 or 1 and 3 eighths inches in, diam in diameter around. So I'm going to go back over here and do my 1 inch, oops, excuse me, not 1 inch, 0.75 inches long. I'm bringing that back up here. Now, I'm only going to keep a portion of this. So I'm going to start with locating my middle. That's going to be my revolve point. Now, from there, I know a few things. I know that my um, shoulder, I'm going to offset, is 0.25 inches over. Now, not 1.25, 0.25 inches over. And that my, from my center to the bottom of that shoulder is 0.5 inches because it's one inch in diameter on the low side. And my interior diameter of this is 0.75, or 0.375 is the radius of that. So I've created this now. I need to trim. Now trimming is going to be a little awkward here, so I'm just going to hit my trim and then press Enter. So I select all. I'm going to start with cutting off what I know I don't need. I know I don't need all those. I know I don't need that. I'm sure I don't need this or this because he doesn't do us any good. And I'm going to start trimming back up the piece right here. So I keep that center line and I get rid of all the rest. In fact, I'm just going to flat out erase that line. There's my bushings profile. Now, it's not a polyline, so I use my polyline edit command to select that, and then yes, I'm going to turn it into one, and I'm going to say J to join it, and I'm going to join all these pieces right here together, so now it's one piece. At this point, I can revolve the shape. Revolve, select my shape, select my axis, and tell it to go 360 degrees, and I'm done. That is as hard as that revolution is. All right, it is complete. Thank you, and we'll see you later.